Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Fast in Your Door! As you can see by our partner on the left, last time we got Miss Mouse as an optional party member. So today we've got one more uh, help trouble center thing to get. And then I'm gonna collect some star pieces, play with some piano parlor, and make some recipes. So I will probably not be doing anything important towards reaching World 5 in this episode. So feel free to skip this episode if you don't want to. Anyways, Mayor Dower, newsletter. Would you please deliver the Silver Club newsletter routing slip for me? Please come pick it up at my house in Twilight Town. Alrighty. Hey, you. Mario, you accepted my trouble request. My, my, now that's something. I hope you deliver this Silver Club newsletter routing slip to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but this hip is really growling at me. Would you take it for me? And we get the routing slip, a silver club routing slip. It's so well used, it's tattered. So this is basically a backtrack to all the old people you've met, and sign them up for the book club. <laughs> also, before we leave Twilight Town... Hang on. I want to stay at the inn, because doing so will get us a special item. But of course I'm not going to pay for that, are you kidding me? I'm a cheapskate. I'm not paying for that. I've got in coupons in storage. I collect the goods and she sells them. Oh, yep. Yeah. Give me my in coupon. Hello, sir. Refresh your body and soul at our lovely Twilight Inn. Our rate is 10 coins. Will you stay the night? Yes, I'll stay. Sir, you have an inn coupon. Would you like to use it? Yes. Enjoy your rest, sir. I miss the days when the toads let you sleep for free. Did you sleep well? Well, have a nice Twilight. And this is the item that appears when you sleep. We got a peachy peach! Fruit found in Twilight Town. Replenishes 1 HP and 2 FP. Ooh, also, I think there's a little Easter egg you can get uh, when you beat Chapter 4 with the crows. I think. Oh, Mod, you won't believe it. My little Ronnie did very poorly on his SATs. And he tried so very hard, and we spent so very much. Now, nah, Flo, don't get down on yourself now. He can try again, can't he? Can't he? Flo, are you listening to me? Flo, you look peaked. Aw, oh, poor Ronnie. I'm not sure how the SATs work, but I know you can take the ACTs multiple times. I took it, like, three times before I got over a 30. It's that stupid reading section that brought me down, because I'm a slow reader. I can read quickly, or comprehensively. Not both. And you really can't do anything to improve that. Today's winning number is... Not me. But he still gives you a free mushroom anyways, so it is totally worth it to buy the lottery ticket. Alright, time to play some games. Actually, let's, I'm just... <laughs> you know what, never mind, I'm just going to get a ton of cake mix. Oh, that's sad. I can't carry anymore. Well, now that we've got all this cake mix, we can go to ZST and make some stuff. Cake mix... plus a mushroom.
And we get a shroom cake, a cake made by Zesty, replenishes 8 HP and 8... 8? 8? 10 HP and 10 FP. I do not know why I said 8. Now we'll do cake mix plus... let's see, what do we have? I guess peachy peach. And we get a peach tart, a zest tea dessert. Makes you electrified, dodgy, or sleepy. Not terribly great. Alright. What items do I have? I have two things of cake mix left. Cool. I suppose I could sell some of the desserts I'm not going to eat. Like, I'm not going to eat the peach tart. Alright, I'm going to withdraw my volt shroom. And my fire flower. Fire flower and cake mix. Now you see why I got this strange sack as soon as possible, because I'm al I'm already running out of inventory space, even though I've got double the inventory. Fire flowers explode, apparently. Sorry to keep you waiting. And we get a fire pop. Candy made by Zest T replenishes 20 FP. Does not use 1 HP like it did in the first game. Now we'll do cake mix and volt shroom. The only good thing volt shrooms are for, uh, used for in this. In the first game, they could be used to make uh, life shrooms, which is amazing. Not so much in this. And we get an Electro Pop. Candy made by his ST replenishes 15 FP. So now we should have a lot of recipes completed. That's a pretty good amount of recipes. It never fails. Whenever I have reached enough shop points to get a special reward, I always am out of inventory space to hold it. Honey syrup, ultra shroom. And we get a honey ultra. Dessert my best ST replenishes 50 HP, 5 FP. Sweet. Literally sweet. <laughs> Because it's covered in honey. Fourteen more items. Alright. Horse tail. Syrup and Super Shroom. I think you all know where this is going. <laughs> Honey Super. It's 10 HP and 5 FP. Alright dude, what do you have for sale? That's some good stuff, other than the dried shroom, but... I'm waiting for him to sell the first attack badge. I really want that badge! Hello, punies. Well, hey there, Martio. Are you here to listen to me pontificate for a spell? 
Why, this is a Silver Club newsletter rooting slip. You came here to give me this? Twilight Town's mayor sent you? My last new fountain bath was there was nice, I recall. Well, this slip now needs to go to the Petalberg mayor, but my hernia is acting up. Ugh. Say now, could you take this to the mayor of Petalberg for me? I'm counting on you. Sure. Well, you're here. Let's pay, play Stump Petunia to get a Mystic Egg, shall we? Star piece there. This is the room right above the room you enter the Great Tree from. Oh, hey there, Puny's up here too. I didn't know that. Next star piece is in here. I don't want to have to come back to Flurry's house, but there's something in her bedroom that I didn't get earlier. Star piece. Also a chest. I didn't know about a chest back here. Oh, the Super Appeal P badge! You get more star power when your ally appeals. That's actually a very nice badge. Especially if you have, like, 20 of them. <laughs> Alright, I think that's the last Mystic Egg I need. I got three from her. And then I also got one earlier, in which I made a fried egg with, so I believe I have all the ever Mystic Eggs I need. Alright, now to Petalburg, which- oh! So convenient, the pipe to Petalburg is right here! Still wish there was a pipe to Glitzville, though. Murphy, what can I do for you, young man? Eh? The Silver Club approval slip? Is that from the puny elder, that old so-and-so? That reminds me, that super blood pressure gauge I borrowed from her was great! Since I'm the last one to sign this, it just needs to go back to Twilight Town's mayor. <laughs> but I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. Could you take it to the Twilight Town Mayor? Thanks, Murphy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll backtrack. The old coot. Oh, I'm sorry. Kuba Coot is the old coot. But he's not in this game. Yes, I came back to Glitzville. Again. There are a couple things I want to do here. First, I'm going to the souvenir shop. Alright, what can I sell for a lot of money? <sighs> Obviously the Jelly Ultra nets me a lot of money, but I kind of want to keep that around. I'll sell one of my Honey Shrooms, at least. Ooh, the Meteor Meal sells for a lot as well. It's not even that great, so yeah, I'll sell that. There we go. I'm also going to store some stuff. I'm going to store one of my Mystic Eggs. My Honey Ultra. Uh, my Jelly Ultra. <laughs> and, uh, my Courage Meal. Cool. That's a, Those are some expensive Super Shrooms. I'm going to buy a Point Swap, which sounds weird. But the Point Swap is very powerful in recipe making, because it basically just changes whatever item you cook with the point swap to the opposite of whatever that item is. So like, it'll turn a mushroom into a honey syrup, it'll turn an ultra shroom into a jam and jelly. Stuff like that. On top of that, there's one thing actually in the glitz pit that I didn't get. Which is annoying, because I literally was like, inches from it at one point. But I didn't pick it up. It's a star piece, as you may have guessed. So first of all, gotta check. Okay. That's not good. Alright. I do have the champ's room though, so I might still be able to enter her office from the champ's room. I really hope so. Don't mind me, Jolene. Excellent. That drawer has a star piece in it. Hi. Please, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm very busy these days. Fight promotion is not easy. P 
we see yourself out, and have a nice day. Sorry, I just had to destroy the ventilation shaft so I could steal your piece of star you had in your desk. Pretty normal stuff. I'm not weird. Everyone else is weird. <laughs> Alright. I I want to say that's everything for the Glitz Pit. I'll double check before I leave because I've got all the star pieces pulled up here. Star piece there that I didn't get. There might be one in the juice bar I didn't get, actually. Wow, I missed a lot of star pieces in the Glitz Pit. I'm actually reading up on a lot of these. Okay, yeah. There were actually a couple that I didn't get. Yeah. There's one there. And wouldn't you know what? There's two in the storage room that I might have missed. Well, there's one I definitely missed, and then one that I may still not have to get. Thank goodness nobody's guarding the door to the storage room. Man, so many star pieces that I didn't get. I am so glad I double-checked before leaving. <laughs> Those hidden panel ones are tough. Yep, and one back there. Alright, that's all the star pieces in Glitzville and the Glitz Pit, and I got them all. Alright, well that was a lot of stalling, I admit. So let's actually go back to Twilight Tr Twilight Town! The Twilight Town! <laughs> It's the place where you get the money for the favors. Uh, now, back to Twilight Town, to Mayor Dower. 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Hello, Mario. Did you deliver that last newsletter routing slip or what? The mayor of Petalburg has a cold? Well, tarnations and diddity dangits. Oh, but you brought this back with you. Why, thanks. You sure are a lifesaver. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please take it. We get 30 coins. We silver clubbers have been going strong for 20 years with our slogan, Age? What? We discuss longevity secrets and the like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. Ha! <laughs> That, that was weird. Let's get out of here. But I need another peach. I think I still have another inn coupon. There are other inns that net you uh, items when you sleep there, but peachy peaches are the only ones you actually need for recipes. The others are completed recipes. Ha! Ink coupon. I knew I had one. I remember those fiends being everywhere, but I guess they're more rare than I uh, thought. Hi, I feel absolutely perfectly fine, but I want to sleep here. I just want the free peach, dude. Because this is the only way to get peachy peaches. And I need one more. Not right now, but I, at the end of the next world, I'll need it. Peachy Peach! I just realized, the Peachy Peach kind of replaced the lemons and limes from Paper Mario 1. Here we go. Yeah, this place. First in here. How many star pieces do I have now? Fourteen! That's a good amount. Alright, here's the shop I want to go to. This is a place that sells slow shrooms. Also sells ultra shrooms and uh, jam and jellies, but for way more, uh, way higher prices than the merchant guy does in Roadport. So I'm going to buy two slow shrooms.
even though slow shrooms are terrible. But we need them for the recipes. Let's make some recipes! Start with golden leaf and a slow shroom. And we get Shroom Broth. Broth brewed by ZST gradually replenishes HP. So basically exactly the same as the Slow Shroom, but it's a special recipe. Whatever. Next we're going to do a Horsetail and a Mystic Egg. stuff. And we get an omelet meal! Food made by ZST replenishes 5 HP and 5 FP. Not very good, but dang, that looks nice. And now, finally, we're going to do slow shroom and point swap. I don't think glowing is especially good for this. We get a poison shroom, a snack made by ZST. Eat it, and it'll poison you. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's just wonderful. First attack. Nope. Maybe he doesn't carry that until after the next world. Alright. Now I'm going to store some stuff. The poison shroom we'll need for a later recipe. We'll keep the shroom bot broth. We'll need the peachy peach for a later recipe. Everything else is good. And now we're going to do fire flower and a mystic egg. You guys remember this from Paper Mario 1, right? Wow. That's all I can say. Not sure why, but this is what came out. Whoa. Go on, take it, Stompy. We get an egg bomb! An egg bomb made by Zesty. Throw it to an attack an enemy. That's a cool little weapon. We're not going to use it, but... Our recipe count has increased dramatically. Alright, storing the egg bomb. Gonna need cake mix. I'll get more cake mix. I will get maple syrup. And that's all. I can't go below 10 Pianters or else I'll have to pay to get more. Because you need 10 Pianters to play any of the games. Alright. That's all the ingredients we need, though. So this is a boring episode, I know. We, I basically just spent the whole episode doing one favor, backtracking to get star pieces and making recipes. But I really like playing these episodes. Alright, we're going to do cake mix. And honey syrup. And we get a honey candy. Candy made by ZST replenishes 20 FP. That's pretty good. Alright, now finally maple syrup. And our other cake mix. You can also use gradual syrup for this recipe. 
Ooh, it looks perfect, yum. We get a Zest Cookie, a cookie made by Zest T, replenishes 15 HP and 15 FP. That's like the Yoshi cookie of the game. Alright. Sweet! Oh, I didn't get that star piece. Okay. Yep. Before we finish off the episode, there are a couple more star pieces that I missed in the Rogue Port sewers. That's a nice start. Thankfully, they're all pretty close together. That one's easy to miss. Remember this place? Yep, that one's also really easy to miss. And yep. I think that's all the ones in the Rogueport and Rogueport sewers that I missed. I hope so. Because if it's not, then I don't know which ones are still out there. Because I believe I've gotten all of them. I suppose whoever's keeping track of the star pieces that I'm getting, if anybody has, can point them out to me. But now we're just going to make one trip to Dazzle, trade in our star pieces for a very good badge, <laughs> and well, I think we'll be good to go. I Dazzle. Alright, I want Power Plus P. Well... Yeah, Power Plus P. Oh, that's going to do it for this episode of Paper Mario Files in Your Door. Sorry if it was boring. Next episode, I promise we will actually be heading towards World 5, and things are going to get a lot more exciting. Hope to see you then. In the meantime, have a great day, and God bless.